Hey there YouTube, it's my second video from my bi-monthly TTM recap. Usually I do both months in one video, but since I had a total of 124 autographs for March and April 2020, I decided to break them up into two separate videos. So this is my second video, this is my April TTM recap video. So I, I have exactly 50 autographs, they're all trading cards and index cards. So I will let you know if I made a donation. I'll let you know if they were 60 days or longer to return in the mail. So my addresses come from SCF and SCN. That would be Sports Card Forum, which is free, or sportscollectors.net, which is 15 bucks a year. So I don't really want to give you addresses. I mean, they're pretty easy to find on your own. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. And, you know, just as a heads up, in my previous video... The last uh, return I showed you was four cards from Bob Patterson that I received on March 30th. This first one I'm going to show you came on April 7th. I did not send out any TTMs for just over a month. And so whenever I decided I was going to send TTMs again in April, you know, halfway through April, I sent to people who had pretty darn good success rates and, you know, most all of these came from this latter half of April. So, yeah, not this one. Not the first one. Not the first one. We got Alex Presley. This actually was the lengthiest return. 652 days. One of one success from Alex Presley. 652 days. So there we go. There's our start. And Gene Alley must have been, you know, decided to use the time to catch up on some fan mail. I had sent two cards to him, never got them back, and then sent two more cards, never got them back. Well, I got these two cards back 605 days later. Two of two back from Gene Alley. 605 day wait. Wow. Then I got back from Luke Walker. A three of three return from Luke Walker. And there's the other two cards I sent Gene Alley. 358 days later, I received them back. So yeah, um, my two attempts at Gene Alley have both come back. And he does have a nice autograph. I will throw it out there. That's a nice autograph. All right, the mayor, Sean Casey, two of two. Have a bobblehead, I wonder. I mean, I have a bobblehead of him. I'm sure he would sign it. It's just a matter of pulling that off. All right, sent to Elroy Face three of three and there's my first one you'll see in this video that 1960 decades best card from the 2020 top set it's an insert card insert card and it's a very dark card so at least he found a place that kind of works then Vern Law I sent four cards with a $25 donation I know he'll sign for five per he used to ask eight bucks a card, but you know it's going for really good reasons, good purposes. So I, instead of just sending him four cards with a twenty, I threw an extra five in there, and he loaded up inscriptions. So that was pretty cool. The Cy Young and World Series champ from 1960. Same thing. And I like how he did this one. He signed his name like in a thick sharpie, because this action pack card's bubbly. It's a uh, or 3D or however you want to say it, and then in the top corner you add his Cy Young and World Series inscription. And this one was a little bit of a letdown. It like you know I know I know a lot of the older t players with team cards will sign in black pen, and you can it's so tough to see Vern Law, but at least he's signed in the grass. So of the multiple times I've sent him with the donation, he never signed an index card, never. Signed my index card. I wonder if he felt bad that that came out so bad that he went ahead and did an index card. And this is freaking awesome. He loaded it up. Vern Law, Pittsburgh Pirates, 1950 to 1967. Cy Young and World Series champs versus New York Yankees, 1960. That is an amazing index card. So... Considering I've probably sent to the guy, you know, four times in the past, maybe he felt bad that that one card didn't come out so good. Maybe it's because I sent a little more of a donation than what most people have been sending. But in any case, that's cool. All right. A return from Ed 
Ott, who took a little break from TTMing there, uh, from what I heard, you know, his health wasn't so good, but, you know, obviously he got back into it, so I had four cards ready to go. And then we have Gary Varsho. I think I sent three to Gary Varsho. So that's half my stack. I mean, this was like most, most uh, all these cards came second half of April is when I mailed them out and I got these back right away. I sent to, I had a whole stack ready to go, but I wasn't about to send it out with this whole crappy health situation going on. All right, we got two of two from Tommy Sisk. Then we got three of three from Carlos Garcia, who was 60 days, exactly 60 days. A funny that is a funny picture awkward moment <laughs> all right so then i got four of four from vance law i sent to vern law and then i sent four cards to vern law or vance law yeah I sent to vern law and then i sent to his son vance law uh, i've been i've sent to bill verdon so many times i sent him a five dollar donation just for the fact i've sent to him so many times Sent him three cards, and it came out pretty nice there, the blue Sharpie. This is a cool card here. I'm, I'm going to send this one out most likely next. I'm going to send out to the original Frank Thomas, the original one, because he was a member of this team way back. That's a 1950s card. I don't really know what year it is, to be honest with you. I'm not going to pretend to be a card expert. I'm knowledgeable, but not super knowledgeable, especially with the vintage cards. And he usually does sign the index card. In fact, he might have signed the index card every single time I've sent to him. I've probably sent to, you know, over the last four or so years I've been doing TTM, you know, I've probably sent to Bill Verdon maybe seven times. So, you know, I'm willing to bet half of those times I've sent him a $5 donation <laughs> just because I've sent him so much and he's so good about it. All right, next up, I have never sent to Jim Mudcat Grant. $5 per card, but I have seven cards of him I thought, well, let me send the four cards that are not really all that nice of cards and see if this comes back, and it did. So I'm probably going to send the IR3 just because he was a member of the 1979 World Series team. And since I've done in-person autographs, I have not had the chance to get Jim Mudcat Grant. So this might be the best way to do it, especially now. So I'll send him my other three. Dick Groat's another person I will frequently send a donation to. I did not for this one because I only sent two cards, and it had been quite a while, actually, since I'd sent to Dick Groat. He did two of two. Blue Sharpie right across the grass. Came out really nice. And then we're down to our last two. Danny Darwin, I did four of four. I actually had never sent to Danny Darwin. A lot of people do. And to finish it off, this is, you know, something different. Sean Burnett. Former pirate pitcher Sean Burnett, and the last card that I have is a is a jersey card, a relic card. Came out looking pretty nice. So there's my 50 autographs from April 2020. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Usually I don't do two separate videos. I like to do my TTMs all in one month because I usually have so much stinking content to show you. Even with me doing it once a video once every weekend and now once every Wednesdays. For the foreseeable future, it's like I don't really have, I mean, I have so much stuff, It's I'd rather just do it once every two months. But I had to break up in the two videos this time because I had so many autographs. So 50 autographs from April, 74 autographs from March. Total of 124 autographs in my two months uh, from 39 different people. So I hope you liked it. Please always appreciate if you would like my video. Comment down below and then subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.